Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Marin live and direct at you. Hope this video finds you in perfect health and perfect wealth. Hope every day in your life is just awesome for you. What I wanted to do now, since I recently just did a video on how to add a title overlay to your video, now I want to show you how to publish that video. Okay, so what we want to do, we want to go up here to where it says publish movie. This video will be very short. And after you click publish movie, you want to select the type of destination that you want where you want to publish it to I generally just use this computer I publish it to my computer and then you select your file name I always do a unique file name so that uh, you know so that I can recognize the file so I'm just gonna use WM for Windows Movie and I'm gonna use pub so this is a publishing video and then you can right here it says publish to you can select the destination file that you want to publish it to you can publish it directly to a flash drive or something like that but I generally move it to my computer first and then I move it to a flash drive so I can help preserve the memory uh, on my computer or my laptop whichever one you choose to use so what we'll do we will click next and I always unless you're an advanced user and you're off into compressing and you know these other settings I usually just do uh, best quality for playback on my computer which is recommended now if we take a look at more settings you know we have different you know different settings and things like that that you can choose but I generally just use the best quality playback for my computer which is recommended and then we go ahead and we click publish and then now after we click publish it will let you know that it's still publishing the movie gives you the file name down here and the destination folder that it's going to so you will know where to go to before you upload it to your video site whether that's YouTube, Vittler or uh, you know somewhere else wherever you're publishing it and then the good thing about it is that it gives you a good time frame on what's going to happen you know on how long it's going to be to the movie is published so right now it's showing six minutes remaining and we're at about six percent so uh, that last file you know may have been pretty large but you know once it finishes it'll be at a hundred percent and then you can go ahead and click uh, you know finish or complete and then once that's done then you can go ahead and you know move your video to wherever you want to move it to okay so that's all I have for you guys at this particular one uh, I told you it was going to be pretty short this is Marvin Carter signing out peace hey what's up everybody this is Marvin once again I want to do a quick training here for you on how to uh, add different effects to your video here uh, using Windows Movie Maker you know some people feel like when they're recording or editing videos to get those special effects you have to go out and spend extra money now if you're using a, uh, a laptop that's Windows based chances are you already have Windows Movie Maker pre-installed on there so you don't have to go and uh, spend any extra money to get your video edited or add special effects to it now the only thing that I have here is that I have a uh, a camcorder that uh, we have been having for quite some time and I just import the media to Windows Movie Maker so uh, and, this, and actually this is uh, let's see this is Windows Movie Maker uh, 6.0 so this is something that just came pre-installed on the laptop that we have here okay so let's go ahead and get started now as far as you know you want to first import your media from your uh, you know from your device or from whatever you have and you can just go here and uh, you can just click import media and then wherever you have that file saved, if it's already on your um, on your video or, or your camcorder or whatever device you have, generally it'll show up as removable removable disk on here. Okay, so and then you just want to click there, and then you want to go into one of the uh, one of the folders until you find the file that you're looking for. Okay, pretty sure you can find it, plenty of information that'll walk you through on how to go into those little files. But that's generally where your video file is going to be okay so now uh, now that I've uploaded my videos you can see I have several videos here and this is the video that I have on my timeline down here so if we look down here at the bottom you can see I've already imported the video so I go ahead and remove it for you so you can see exactly what I do so once the video that you have shows up in the imported media section here then you want to go to the video that you want to add the special effects or you want to edit and you just drag that down to the timeline here once that's on there as you can see you know the video st plays still but I want to add a special effect to it so what I want to do is uh, I'm going to go here to tools and I'm going to go into titles and credits and then it's going to depend upon what type of effect that you do want you want to go title at the beginning 
title before the selected clip, title on the selected clip, or credits at the end. So we want to do a title on the selected clip. And I just want my uh, the, my website name to show to brand. Well, one of my websites anyway, and it's MLM Paid in Full. Dot com. Oop, put dot com there. So that's going to show there, and the and so and I can change how I want it the effect to show so right now I have a news banner I can do the ticker tape the word scrolls along like that you can do flashing with flash of course I would have to decrease the font on that so it can show right you can do typewriter where it actually types everything out or you can fly in you know different versions so the one that I've chosen is going to be the news banner and then I think that's the one that works out for me so once you've selected that then you have your title text that's already in there. You'll put input whatever text that you want, whether it's you know John Doe or you know whatever your website name is. You know you can put that in there, and then you can have your color. This changes the color of the text. This is how you increase and decrease the size. This is how you center it and or align it. And then here are your bold fonts that you see in Word too as well. So uh, so now I've chosen the Tahoma font for this and we are going to see if we can decrease our font just kind of let you look like let you look at it a little bit and that's how it's going to appear so I want to increase it just a little bit give it a little bit bigger let's try and go up one more there we go so I think I'm going to keep that right there so I'm going to click on add title and once I click on add title if you look down here at the bottom this is my title overlay and here's my video up here so the the title overlay it's automatically going to show. Let me show it to you. Hey, what's up, everybody? This see? is Mark. Okay. So now that you see how the title overlay is going to play, but it's only going to play for the set, uh, for the duration that I have it set for. So I want this to play the whole video. So I just click and I drag it. So my video is one minute and thirty three seconds. So I'm going to click and drag it the whole entire length of the video because I want it to show the whole video. So this is going to go all the way to the end. And I'm just going all the way to the end and dragging it and dragging it until we get to the end, okay? And then now, when I play it. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Marin. Want to do a quick video on three tips that will help your business go viral. Okay. So now you actually have to watch the entire video in order to see the banner actually stay on there for the for the entire time okay so uh, that's my little quick tip for you there don't forget to as always save your work because sometimes you know the uh, computer shuts off or whatever but uh, but other than that that's all I have to show you guys for today hope this helps you uh, improve your video marketing or give you a little bit more um, confidence when you are editing and exploring your video and sometimes you just have to play around with it but just make sure you have the video set exactly how you want to before you uh, you know before you actually publish it or before you upload it to YouTube or whatever site and if you make a mistake there is an undo button up here that you can do so you don't have to worry about making too many mistakes there's an undo button you just click that undo button and it takes you back to the level that you were at before you made the mistake okay thank you so much have an awesome day this is Marvin Carter signing out Peace.